I was on, worked on this boat. I rowed out on it down the ways, across the harbor, and we were on. We were we were just about three feet from from the wharf over there, and we all thought we were going to hit the wharf. But what we didn't, it slowed down a little bit, so the old tug got all of it. Uh, on this particular Jeremiah O'Brien. I worked on the keel laying and burned in some of the butts and the seams with a cutting torch. Uh, if my memory serves me, I think on that particular ship, I also cut down number one and number two mast, uh, which was a formidable job. I was up on, uh, up on stage and I went in as a stage builder. We walked planks 100 feet in the air, one plank across from one place to the other. Usually it's two or three, but we, I, when I think of it, I think how crazy we really were. I was a fire inspector for four and a half years on the midnight shift on the shipyard. And I was aboard that and only many a time. Every piece of steel had a hull number, an important starboard, and a frame number. And as I remember it, there were 139 frames for those old girls. And uh, four main mizzen masts delivered all that steel as the ship fitters ordered it. Wednesday saw a picture-perfect day to go for a cruise on Casco Bay. About 600 former shipbuilders, veterans, their families and friends spent the day cruising aboard the Jeremiah O'Brien. Thank you for sailing Greystack Lines.